Sin Bono is back! Ha <laughs> ha! Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com and we are uh, unboxing today what looks like an interesting new smartwatch and there are so many options available that our good folks at Sinbono sent two of them in different uh, configurations for us to take a look at. What do we have here? Well, from their official AliExpress store, you'll find that this is the Sinbono S08 Plus. It's a full IP68 waterproof men's or women's smartwatch, got heart rate monitor, fitness tracking, and all of the typical things we would find which include the following specs. Got about a 1.3 inch 240 by 240 IPS color screen, waterproof like we said, but don't put it in hot water, okay? Got a good sized battery, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen detection, uh, Bluetooth push support for basic calls and things tethered to your phone, and we're using the DaFit uh, tethering app, which is a common one. We've done reviews on that one before, so in the show notes down below, we'll refer you over to some links you can look at the app in detail. We'll just hook, focus on the watch here today. Uh, the different uh, things included in this watch are music control, um, motion records, that's basically your step uh, pedometer counting, uh, sleep monitoring, sedentary monitoring, and so forth. A good long list of those. And quite a few languages supported as well. So what do you want? Black or blue? Black or blue? Let's start with black. Let's open a box. Take a look. All right. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. I like the really uh, shiny bezel on it. Reminds me of some of the high-end Android watches. We have a little cover we can take off. It is, of course, removable bands, two pins for charging, heart rate monitor button on the side to turn it on. It's got some nice markings on the edge here and a kind of recessed holder area. Uh, very thin, all in all, a nice watch. In addition to the device itself, inside the box, we've got way down in there, a little manual for it in Chinese and in English, on the English side, we have a QR code that you can scan to download the uh, phone app, or you could just go in the show notes down below on this video. We'll have a link directly to it that you can use to set it up. Here's some more information, some basic screenshots for you of what you see on the device, and a little bit more information as well. And of course, the back side is all in Chinese for our Chinese friends. And the last thing we've got in a box is uh, no doubt the charging unit for this. And it looks like this. Okay. It's a clasp wrapped around cable around the pins. So for this one, rather than having a magnetic um, coupled wire, we actually have an overall charging clip, or like a uh, clothespin in, uh, in essence. And we can put it on this way, oh, or we could put it on this way. Well, that's kind of a challenge if it could damage it one way or the other. So we have instructions on the proper way to do it. It says, please note the direction of the charger. And we presume we're looking at the back of it, so the wire needs to come off of the right when it's on its back. And there's the little button on that side, too. They've got it on both sides. So, following the picture, we would charge it this way. Uh-huh. That's a word of warning and a red flag for you. Um, you'll have to make sure you have it set the proper way to get it charged. There you go, that's the first one. The second one should be exactly the same watch, just in a different color, yes! Oh, nice, everything is different. The body of the watch is different. Let's uh, put them side by side, take the little cover off on this one as well. We've got a baby blue band, white uh, body. And of course, there's other colors in both the band and the uh, body, I believe. Uh, you can check that on our link to the product down below. Uh, looks like you see some little bubbles underneath here. 
that we've got a little screen protector on it. You can press this to help move those bubbles out. Or if you don't like it, you can just kind of lift that off and take the protector off of it. But here they are. Uh, maybe a man's and woman's uh, light and dark colored, uh, whatever outfit you'd like to wear. Both of them have a very bright reflective uh, ring as a bezel. And now we'll charge this one up, turn it on, and check it out. Well, with one button on the side, it's obvious we press and hold it to turn it on. Instantly it comes on. We have the opening screen. Now, the interesting thing about this band um, is that the top and bottom areas are, are flat. You don't really see that, but when you actually come in here and touch them, you'll see it as it, as it moves through. You have a step count distance traveled and calories burned screen, the basic pedometer function in this band. Once again, pressing it, you'll have your hours and minutes of sleep time with light and deep sleep as well. And it's a thin one. You could definitely sleep with this one. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Get to the next screen, we have heart rate. So for heart rate, we actually need to put the band on and we'll at least show you the digits. It's a nice TPU band. Lots of holes should fit everybody, and they're close together, which I like because if it's a little too tight or too loose, like this one is, I'm going to loosen it a little bit, one more, and then it's not crimped down so tight. You want it a little loose, and you want it just above that bump on your arm. And for doing heart rate, we press and hold to get it started, and it loads it up. Now, it's got a big uh, red icon here, but as it... Um, gets ready to do the testing, it'll show the digits right down here. Wow! Well, accuracy isn't its strong point, at least in the initial reading. No way I'm uh, pumping at 130 beats per minute. Oh, and it locked that in. So it says that that's my actual heart rate. I um, think I'm going to take time to try it one more. Let's press and hold. Give it a moment. I'm not going to fidget with it now. We'll let it actually have a chance to settle down. Usually, um, if it doesn't pop up right away, it means it's taking readings in the background. There, that's getting a little more realistic. And uh, it averages those, and then when it feels it's come close enough to your actual heart rate, it flips the screen, it vibrates, and it locks in the number. And it's relatively quick, as you can see. Okay, the next section is training. When we press and hold here, we get into a variety of different sports. Uh, let's just go into walking to begin with to show you. I press and hold and it now starts a timer. It's going to use the pedometer to calculate steps, distance traveled, and then it flipped back to the watch face, Okay, which also shows you some of the characteristics here. There it went back now to the, the main screen where it's tracking your heart rate as well. Notice it says 70 here and 73 there. Let's bring it back up again. 72, 71, the calories, distance, steps, and heart rate and time are the things that it's tracking. They're not apparently updated uh, right away on the actual watch face itself though. To get out of this, I'm gonna press and hold here. I can pause it or stop it or return back to it and that'll just Take us back to where it should still be running, okay? But if we want to actually leave this whole thing, we hit stop, he says. There we go. And, oh, you know what? I think because the screen itself is not active, only this button, I have to toggle between these things. If I want to stop, I go to here, then I press, and now I'm back. So in addition to walking... This supports running, cycling, skipping rope, badminton, basketball, all these last ones. They don't calculate your distance and use the pedometer. They're just basically matching time against calories burned for typical calories used in those sports. Okay, beyond uh, the training, you get into uh, blood pressure measurement. Press a hold again to get it activated. And as in most of these devices, it's using little green diodes in the back of the watch that shoot light into your arm and reflect back, and it does an algorithm interpretation of your blood pressure. And as all these devices, I always am letting you know you should use it for reference only and not for medical purposes. It's uh, 
Consider it just a toy for entertainment, uh, but don't take it any more serious than that. Um, you really need a calibrated um, instrument to verify that the blood pressure is working for you. Blood oxygen is the other uh, biometric, I guess you could call it, or um, heart rate reading uh, thing. 96% uh, it's saying it vibrated, and, and it's giving you vital sign. That's it. It's a, one of your vital signs. Beyond the uh, measurements of blood oxygen and heart rate and blood pressure, you also can use the watch to push messages to it from the phone with the tethering app. They would appear right there on the screen. You have a remote camera capability as well. So when you have your phone in camera mode within the app, you can trigger it and take pictures from the watch. This also has a remote music player. So from the watch, you can activate and play the music that's playing on your phone. And then a section for a few other goodies. We have a timer. We can press and hold. We give you a nice, really large digit timer on the screen. Doesn't stay on, but a gentle tap will bring it back anytime you want to. So you get longer life out of your battery that way. Press and hold to stop it. Press and hold to leave it. Well, I guess we just press it to leave it. There we go. You have a mute for uh, the vibration. There's no sound with this one, but you can turn on or off the vibration. You can control the overall brightness on here, and you can get it pretty darn bright. It's, uh, it's nice. It's not as bright as some that we've seen. It's really, really dim on its lowest setting, but it's reasonable bright. Um, you still have to look carefully to see it outdoors. You also have the reset function and the power off option on here as well. Coming back out of here takes you back to the home page. And there's only one watch face that I can find on the watch. When you press and hold from here, you get into the information about the watch. S08 Plus is what you look for to tether this thing. And um, yeah, that's about it. It's a, an attractive dressy watch and it's available to us from Sinbono. This is their AliExpress store. Check the show notes for the link to get there and uh, pick one up if you're interested in it. It comes in a couple of different colors and uh, available right now. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.